If we're being honest, I've never been especially good at solving complicated math problems in my head. I'm also no good at waking up early, guessing people's age, and keeping up with the newest pop culture trends. But of the many aspects of my life I fail at, it's my inability to wrap my brain around the Rubik's Cube that gives me the most frustration. It seems so simple, yet it always ends in heartbreak. But thanks to Bloxic on the PS Vita, I may finally have the skills it takes to conquer this dastardly cube once and for all. Like so many modern puzzle games, Bloxic sees players matching colors to complete increasingly complicated stages. The idea is to rotate the various parts of the faux Rubik's Cube in order to connect at least four of the same color and make them disappear. Sometimes there will be a cube inside the cube, which adds a whole new layer of complication to what should be a simple task. It won't take long for Bloxic to add a few new wrinkles to the theme. It starts out simple enough, with time stages that only let you make a certain amount of moves before it's game over. Then it's off to a new stage, where you'll be asked to match two colors at the same time. In yet another stage, the puzzle will demand players create chain matches. By the time the 100 levels are up, you will have dealt with bomb cubes, multi-cubes, and even locked columns. Bloxic throws everything it has at you. This curious puzzler comes to us from Blot Interactive, a Toronto-based company best known for their work on mobile phones. This history comes through loud and clear with Bloxic, a game that would easily fit on an iOS or Android device. With the exception of holding the shoulder buttons to lock the cube in place and make moves, the game is controlled almost exclusively through the touchscreen. This works well and makes the game feel natural. When it comes to the execution, Bloxic is airtight. It handles well, looks good, and I like the variety of puzzles. When push comes to shove, there's very little about the core mechanics I would change. Unfortunately, that does not extend to the level progression. As someone who is naturally bad at the Rubik's Cube, I found myself constantly getting hung up by what appeared to be simple stages. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy challenging puzzle games and love the satisfied feeling that comes from finally working out the solution. But Bloxic left me stranded. Getting stuck on a stage brings the entire momentum to a grinding halt. There's no hint button to help point the player in the right direction, something that is desperately needed in this style of puzzler. It's also a shame you're not able to skip the stage you're stuck on. This is especially confusing since the seven different areas appear to be on a map. It seems like you should be able to move about the levels at will, but instead you're stuck on a linear path. You're unable to progress until you've finished every puzzle in the right order. This meant that I was forced to replay the same puzzle over and over until I finally figured it out. But by that point, I had already checked out of this game. These problems are a real shame, as Bloxic is a well-executed puzzle game with a fantastic concept. There's a nice variety of challenges, and it will take lots of hours to finish the 100 stages. Despite a few missteps, Bloxic is a worthwhile new addition to the PS Vita's library. Hey guys, sorry there wasn't more variety in the clips this time. As it turns out, Bloxic is a tough game to capture, so I was forced to work with the B-roll I got from the developer. Hopefully you still found this review interesting. I'll be back soon with reviews of Shovel Knight, Project Root, Shadowrun Chronicles, Ziggurat, and a few other games I'm totally spacing on. So make sure and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos. Now click something, the video's about to end.